In this video, I'm going to show you how to create these really cool animated short story videos using the GPT-4O's new image model that we're going to create stunning images just from simple prompts. We're going to use Runway ML to animate those images to turn them into a movie. And we're also going to use 11 laps for voice narrations. So that way it's more of like a story, including the image generated and then also these animations. I'm going to also show you how you can grab this template completely for free. So that way you can put it in your own Anidan instance and you can run it or make changes for whatever use case you have. So let's take a look at a quick example of what we're going to build. And then I'm going to come back and walk you step by step and all these notes to make sure you fully understand how to build this thing. Amidst a radiant sunlit afternoon, a bustling street market unfolds in cinematic anime style. Stalls laden with vibrant fruits, handwoven crafts, and aromatic street food create a lively mosaic of colors and textures. All right, so that was like a quick short sample. Obviously, we can extend this video. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. You can put this into your social media. And again, I'm going to show you how to grab this free template. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video. So that way you can learn how to create these amazing short narrated stories that again, you can use for your social media or for your own personal use. All right, so let's get started. Uh, I'm in my blank and then workflow. Uh, before actually I show how this is done, let me quickly show you a few other samples or examples that I've created so that we can take a look at it. So this is again for a portrait for your social media like the TikTok and Instagrams of the world. So you can see you can create multiple different types of images. Obviously GPT-4, the image supports really good text on uh, photos. So you can certainly do that as well. There's, you know, the different width, the different length. Uh, multiple characters, different styles when it comes to the images itself. So like anime or just story or even like real life kind of uh, faces that you can put on these images that you can generate with the GPT-4 image model. And then also obviously you can um, animate this as well. So there's again different types of animations. So you have these kind of cartoon like wide eyes animation. And this is all by the way, just being generated with one single prompt. And that's why I kind of like to keep it very, very simple, right? So this is another one that, that describes kind of the background, the raining and the big moon in the in, uh, in the back there that you can see and a girl here like, you know, in an anime character crying or looking for the best. So, so there's different uh, types that you can create here so that I just wanted to show you and obviously, you can utilize a um, something like an iMovie or something to put all these together. And then I'll show you at the end how you can also put this on your different social medias with just one API. All right, so that's kind of the different samples that, uh, you know, you can create with these things. So now let's go ahead and bring this workflow over. So I'm going to show you how to do this again completely for free. So you're going to head over to AI Workshop Lite. So if you go down to the video description, I'll put that in there as well. Just head over to the AI Workshop Lite community. You're going to go to the classroom section. You're going to go to the YouTube resources and you can essentially, you'll have the video in the bottom here. You can click on this JSON template file. You'll download it and you'll come back and go to your workflow. You're going to click on these three dots. You're going to click on import from file. All right. So the workflow gets brought over. Uh, just quickly, if you wanted to, obviously, when you go to the workshop community, this uh, free uh, AI workshop light community, the files are there. But if you want to obviously learn a bit more uh, or have like the step by step guide, so something like this, because I have this on my paid community where I have all the links to all these different resources, the codes, the prompts, everything is put in a kind of step by step guide. So that way, if you're completely new and you don't want to get confused, please feel free to join the AI workshop paid community because that's where everything is a, a lot more, you know, hand hand holding. And then our classroom section has a lot of exclusive deep dive topics about different vector databases, full stack web apps, MCPs, and all sorts of other amazing, uh, you know, uh, classroom details or classroom resources that are there. So make sure you join the community. We also have a calendar event or calendar section that has on a daily basis, we have daily calls. So if you get, um, stuck at anything, you can ask a question, jump on one of the calls. Or if you don't want to jump on the calls, you can always ask your question in the Ask and Assist channel. Myself or somebody from my team will usually get back to you within a few hours. We have over a thousand members. People are there to collaborate. They share their experiences, especially with making money, how they interact with clients and how they utilize their skills that they have learned in the community to actually make money with AI. So make sure you join the community. I'm going to put the link in the description. All right, so let's go ahead and actually try a demo. And then I'm going to walk through each node and show you exactly, um, you know, how everything works and what are the different resources here. So I'm going to go ahead and open chat. So I'm just going to say a busy street market on a sunny afternoon with stores. So the reason why I'm doing this is so you can see 
that's from something as simple prompt how this will generate a detail prompt and it will create the image and then also the video animation and also the audio as well so i'm going to press enter so now this is going to go ahead and initiate our workflow this is going to generate the prompt here generate the image generate the video generate the audio and then send me a link of this final uh, video animated video in my email as well. So I'm going to go ahead and let this finish and then I'm going to come back and explain everything. All right, perfect. So the workflow succeeded. When you see these green tick marks and every note, it means everything was successful. And at the bottom, I have the link of this message ID because I sent this uh, to my Gmail account that I can always open up using that. Or I can just you go directly to the get video here, take this link, copy it, paste it right here. And if I enter, this will show me the image that was generated. So you can see this cool little market with people walking around the stores and it has this like uh, light rain that's happening and has all the different size and everything got the open sign. And then also the uh, model also generated a voice. So if I click on the voice here so I can view this, play this. Under a bright golden afternoon sun, a bustling market comes alive where vibrant stalls overflow with colorful fruits. All right, cool. So you can see, you get the idea that we create this nice little generate uh, voice narration and then also the video. And then I'm going to show you again how to combine these later on. All right, so let's go ahead and walk through step by step and see what's happening inside each node. Because as you download, obviously you have access to this free template so that way you can kind of follow along and make changes uh, if you want. All right, so obviously the chat, this is just sending a chat input, which is basically a simple prompt that we put in here. Let me actually get rid of this so that we have more space to see. All right. So that's just sending a trigger. Now that could, again, that could be used as a, a form trigger or a webhook or something like that. But uh, essentially, regardless of how this trigger gets initiated, the prompt, that simple prompt gets uploaded here. And we have this nice little prompt that we have that says, hey, you need to take uh, your job is that you are an advanced AI that transforms a simple topic into a prompt for image model. And then we also provide all of these detailed examples as well. So that way it knows exactly if to take like a simple prompt and convert it into a more detailed one for voice generation, for image model, and then also for our runway ML to make that nice little animation. So that's the detailed prompt. Again, you should have access to this in your workflow over there. So you can feel free to go through and read everything there. I'm using our OpenAI account. I'm just using a uh, model here. I'm just using O3 Mini, but feel free to use any model that you choose. So of course, like for example, the GPT 4.1 is the new one. You can most certainly use that as well. So this generates the detailed prompt. So as you can see, now it generates this under a bright golden afternoon sun, a bustling market, you know, so uh, just kind of detailed prompt that it generated. So now the next step is we're creating image with our 4.0 image API, GPT 4.0 image API. So if you go to uh, the GPT's image generation API model here, this gives you all of the different details of how the image generation API wo works, the best practices, and there's uh, two different endpoints that you have access to. One's generating image, which should be used, and you can also modify an existing image that I'm gonna show in later videos as well. But the generate image, essentially you use a endpoint. So if I go to my um, generate image, HTTP request node here. I'm using a post method. So I'm using the endpoints and this particular endpoint, the generation endpoint, and I'm sending the uh, uh, headers as our authorization because obviously you need to have a API key that you need to sign up and you need to authenticate with this bear and then your API key as well. And the body, we're sending some body to the uh, JSON, like the model, which model to use. The prompt, obviously, we're grabbing this from our prompt right here. And then also the size of the image. So there's 10, uh, 1024 by 1536, but it supports other uh, sizes as well. And again, if you want to know more details of how these work and the different links to this, again, like I said, I have put everything, uh, you know, really nice in, in step-by-step guide over here. So that way you can take a look at all of those different sections uh, if you choose to but again if you're i've already down if you have downloaded this the free resource you should have access to all of this all right so that's kind of the what we're doing this http request again we're sending this post method request to this endpoint to generate image with the following prompt that we're getting from previous node and also the size of the image that we are identifying here 
So afterwards, once we get this image, the output of this is going to be this base 64 string. So let me switch to JSON so you can see the details here. So if I show the show the data. So this is basically a representation, a base 64 representation of the image that got generated. The great thing is our runway ML accepts base 64 um, in their video generated endpoints. So if you head over to runway, uh, dev.runwayml.com you can see uh, you can create an api key obviously you have to have some um, uh, some amount of money in there but you can just put ten dollars because for each five second generation i believe it costs like 25 cents or something like that so uh, very reasonable and you can test different things out it takes five seconds you can generate a 10 second video as well and then you can combine them later on and again i have done a lot of this already so this pov video that i did uh, let me show you all of the resources and the documentation are right here. So with the different links and then also that POV video that I did, I put together the prompt and stuff. So feel free to check that video out uh, so you can see exactly how the runway ML works. But essentially you're using same thing, the endpoint here, this endpoint right here, which says image to video. So you're converting an image to video, meaning you're just animating an existing image that you will be uploading to runway ml the way we're uploading this is we're using same thing this json body so these are the parameters that the runway ml takes the json.data this is the image data that we're grabbing from right here so this is the base 64 string that we're adding here again this is a representation of that image in kind of like a string version we're giving it a prompt text because we need to tell this model how to animate the image right so that therefore we're grabbing our prompt from uh right here that got generated so this is that prompt that got generated from our second node so i'm just dragging it dropping it there duration you can identify as five seconds or ten seconds and then the ratio of the image and the watermark i'm just putting it as false so that's essentially what's happening there so we send this request and if you did everything correct you should receive an id of that job meaning that this request was sent to the API, but it takes a little bit of time before it generates the actual uh, video. So therefore, we add a wait note. So I'm just putting like 85 seconds. That's plenty. You know, if you want to test different um, uh, wait times, then feel free to do so. But just to be on the safe side, just put like 60 or 80 seconds. After the wait note, I'm getting a Git video. So this is where now on the first step, we sent a post request to generate uh, and then on the second step, we need to find a way to grab that once the job is done, right? So therefore, we're using a get method this time. And here's the endpoint that you need to reach out to grab that um, generated video with the ID right there. The ID we're getting from the previous node here. So I'm just adding that over there. The custom auth is just, again, same thing. You're putting your API key there. Uh, we still, we, for this particular endpoint, we need to send two headers or we need to send header, which is you need to identify which uh, version of the one way model you're using. I'm using, or you need to make sure you're identifying this 2024 11 6. That's just generic and all of them. And if you did everything right, then this will give you a status. So if the video got generated properly, it has succeeded. And then it gives you the output, which is this video link right here. So that's pretty much done there. So now that you have this video, now we're going to be generating the voice generation. And the way to do that is I'm reaching out to 11 labs. Uh, I've done a lot of, you know, videos with 11 labs. So feel free to check that out. I've done a bunch of step by step tutorials. So you can take a look at those as well. But essentially, we're using an HTTP request node. Same thing with the post method to reach out to the 11 labs text to speech endpoint. And this is the voice ID. So you can use multiple voice IDs. I'm just using the default ID or a default voice that's inside 11 labs, but you can clone your own voice or, uh, you know, uh, use an existing one. Same thing. I'm just using the custom auth here. And then as far as the actual uh, prompt, we need to make sure that we're giving it a text prompt, right? So therefore I'm using the same prompt that got generated in our second node. So, and here I'm just stringifying it. So this code snippet, it just essentially makes sure that the uh, text that's coming in from here that we're sending to 11 labs, it's a proper JSON because we want to make sure it doesn't throw any kind of error. And then once you do that, then what this is going to do, this is going to return a data file, an audio file that you can click on. That's going to be that nice little voice uh, narration of the image right there.
So that's essentially what's happening there. And I'm also sending this to my email that you can put, you know, a Google sheet or whatever it may be. And then once you have this, so once you have the images and these animations that you like, then what you could do is this step. I know there's ways to automate this and I've seen that before, but the problem is it's way more of a headache to automate this process compared to just doing it manually. I always say just because you can automate something doesn't mean you always should. And this is a perfect example of that. So the easiest thing to do is if you have a Mac, go to your Mac, you literally just grab those files because you can download them and literally bring them over and then download that voice file and bring them over. And that's all you need to do, right? You just can export this. Everybody has access to iMovie and their Macs, or even if you are using a PC, you can have something that comes default with most PCs as well. It's just a drag and drop and you don't need to know how to edit videos or anything like that. You can add captions or whatever it may be. This is the part that, like I said, you shouldn't be automating it because the automating for this particular section, it takes longer than the manual work. So therefore it doesn't make any sense to automate this process. So anyways, once you do that, you can then post this on your social media or you can use it for personal personal use as well. How do you post this on social media? I have done a video before, but just to guys to show you guys. So let me pull this up. I did this uh, post all social media with one API in Blotato. Uh, this is a really cool API where you can essentially use one API to post your media. And in this case, you can use this media that we just generated to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, all different social media accounts. Again, feel free to, I, I did this step-by-step -step guide, so make sure you check that out on uh, my channel there. But essentially you're grabbing this media that we just generated, in this case, this one, posting it into one API using Blotato, and I'll put the link in the description for the Blotato as well. And then you're posting it all into your like Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, or whatever it may be. So you can see this could become a very cool way to generate and automate kind of these short stories with nice narrations. So if you're creating like a, um, you know, Instagram themed like motivation video or just kind of cool stories, you can use this workflow to essentially automate that process or majority of the work there. The only thing you would need to do is just uh, combine the little images and or the videos and then uh, put the voice underneath it, post it to your social media and you're good to go. All right. Well, hopefully you found this helpful. And again, sorry if I, if you were expecting like a step by step, because if I were to do a step by step, it would take a very long uh, process. So that's why I gave you guys the access, free access to this template. So that way you can just follow along as we're doing it. And again, if you run into any issues, make sure you join the community so you can post your questions and uh, join one of the calls if you want to want me or somebody to take a look at it uh, if you're stuck somewhere. Thanks for watching again. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe because I've got a lot of great content that is coming up. You want to make sure you don't miss it and hopefully I'll see you in our community.